AH3T, not OHAT, and 3T. My apologies. <clears throat> so, we last stopped with Hart, and to be quite honest, Hart was a bit more the teak. <laughs> so, we'll move on to Saki, okay? Saki, as much as I want to say she's more of an aggressive player, <clears throat> well, Saki is a little different. A lot of her moves are charge based. You know about charge, the rule about chargers, about every two seconds. In this game, you don't have two seconds per se. You have to make two seconds work. So, <clears throat> she's all about the charging. Though the special moves are not charge based, well, her super moves, her special moves are. Her level three, her critical heart, let's not talk about that. That would just piss me off. <clears throat> so, enough about her. Excuse me, still getting over a cold. A little better, though. We are now going to talk about the Arcana, okay? Let's first start off with Love. I found this out the hard way with Saki. Heart plus uh, Love plus Saki equals no go. <clears throat> Very much so. <sighs> Saki has a problem trying to play the rage game, and you really have to get in close. <clears throat> Even the most experienced Saki players will not get me that freaking love. Unless they're already practicing and know the timing. Personally, I didn't like it. I didn't like it one bit. It just irked me. So, let's move on. Time. Uh, this is another one where time just not works well with Saki. Though the extra speed from Extend really works well... It really doesn't do justice. It really doesn't do justice, and even if it was used, utilized properly, it just doesn't work well at all. So let's move on. Let's move on to nature. Yeah, nature once again seems to work well, and in Saki's case, it adds extra depth in the air game, air combos, and just to bring someone back up close. Honestly, I found this to be one of the most u one of the most useful ones, and it might just be for everyone, but for her, it's really worked well. <clears throat> Earth, huh. Earth here has a little bit more than a defensive use for Saki. Saki, one of Saki's special attacks charges forward, then hits back. With uh, with Earth, you can just dash forward. Absorb a hit or two and then go right into your special attack. They'll be too busy trying to chain and they're not going to realize that. Oh, shit, I got caught. <laughs> oh, damn, I just got nailed. So if you can play the if you can play that game, you should be okay. Move on to Saki's Thunder. Yes, Thunder really works well, especially if you get them on their way back from the wall. The Track and Lightning Arcana Super one is really, really good. Not only does it add 15 hits, they're stuck in the air and allows you opportune time to go and dash up forward. Great stuff. Evil. Evil, evil, evil. I'm going to say this again. Extend. This really, you can't really want, you really don't want to teleport here. You're going to basically want to just extend every time you get an opportunity and drain as much health as you can. Chaining is not as easy with Saki as it is with Heart or some of the other characters, so you really need to make good use of the extend. Light. Oh, God. For Saki, Light really does not give it justice at all. Just outright, it doesn't work. 
the reason why I say that is because outside of the vertical super, it really doesn't do any work. It doesn't pull the one you want to do. And Saki's not projectile heavy as is because of her special moves. So there's really no point in really working with light. <clears throat> now we go into Blossoms, a.k.a. the Flower Girl. This is a good one because you can, again, the grow and plant technique really works well. Plant and grow, but also her Super 1 if you use Blossoms, allows you to really add extra hits and focus them either on the ground or the air to follow up with yet another super, either her dashing kick or her impersonation of the flash explosion. Moving on, we now go to sound. Unlike Heart, where you have to do a little bit of setting up, with Saki, what you can easily do is you can easily go into a combo, set up, and then quickly use the vibrations and add to the combo. Now, it's a little tricky at first, I will admit. But if you are if you are legitimately correct and fast enough to do this, they'll be too busy trying to recover that they're going to get hit again, even if it's just the tail end of it. The Orikalkos metal. <clears throat> this is one of the uh, this is another another arcane arcana that you just don't want to use. Less for the charging, more for the usage. You need the charge to get a good meter, but you need at least two bars to work Saki at all, especially with her combos and whatnot. The charge is not so bad, but if you're gonna if you're gonna do that, fake them out and be charging not only your special moves but your arcana. That way, if they get too close, you can smack them in the head. It's more along the lines of it's just a little too slow for Saki's tastes. So, eh, who knows? Excuse me. We'll move on to wind. Wind is really, 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 really airy in this one. I'm not gonna say it's hard, cause if you can get the opponent in the air, you can do some decent damage with, with the wind slicers and then move on forward and continue the air assault. Technically, you don't have to even go to the ground if you're really, really good. It takes a little bit of work, but it won't be too bad. That's what I can say. Now, gear, which is darkness. Part of my correction the first time, it was not evil, it was darkness. Sorry. Again, darkness really doesn't work well. It's one. Of, this is one of those arcana, arcana that just doesn't work too well at all. And even if you can get into a decent combo or a decent, decent rhythm, it's just too much out the way. It's better as a finisher as it is as a starter. So if you look at the finisher combo, by all means, use darkness. It does do the job. It gets the knockdowns you need. But if you need if you need extra room, you're probably going to have to search elsewhere. Magnetism. Remember what I was telling you about Arakune? Yeah, the first Arcan su Arcana Super is like a magnetic force. Really, really good after hitting someone into a wall, perhaps, to drag them back in, do some extra damage, and then freaking chase them again. Really good. Especially in Saki's case, because she is always putting people into walls. Her major thing is the wall. So, magnetism is not a bad choice, honestly. Water. We're going to find someone with water. Just not Saki. It takes too much setup time for Saki. Three to really do anything. One to start something. And, honestly, it's just really not a great, great idea. In my opinion, it's just not a great idea. Fire. Uh, what do I can tell you with fire? With Saki? No. Fire with Saki just doesn't work well. And it's not so much that it's the power is the problem. It's the fact that because of her awkward moves and the charge attacks, you can't really capitalize off of putting them, keeping them stunned in the air with the flames. Not to mention if it's going off the wall, you might overshoot your boundaries. <laughs> Moving on to mirrors. Mirrors, mirrors, mirrors. Mirrors. 
Again, it goes basically by person to person. In Isaki's case, if it goes off a person that hits someone into a wall, you might want to really utilize that. If it's going with someone who has rage, you probably want to move on. So use mirrors at your discretion here. Ice. This is the one I rather prefer for Saki. Not only can you get a charge and bounce him into the wall, but you can follow that up to just cause all types of hell. And the fact that you can actually just slide across. This is a really good Arcana, mainly because you can slide and keep it going. And as you slide, you're, charging, you're doing one of your charge attacks. So it's a really good notion to do. So luck. If you thought luck was good on heart, oh, it's better on Saki. Mainly because of her uh, hold forward and back attack. That one right there in the middle of dice rolling. Oh my god. Great stuff. Adds really, really stacks the damage well. And using the dice, you get lucky. You get lucky, you kick ass. All there is to be said. Punishment. Again, this is if you are really good at extending... Hitting the super and then going right into arcane flare. If you miss this with punishment, there is no point using this again. Not unless you're looking for the coverage in the air, honestly. Punishment. Uh, I'm really not going to recommend punishment for Saki. Not so much that it's hard to use, but it's clumsy on her. With heart, you can just do two and then go back into a combo with Saki. It takes a little bit more work. And especially with charging. I wouldn't really want to fuck with it personally. Holy. Now this is another one. If you were going against an experienced person who's going to go off the wall. It may not be as good. But with Saki's case, you can follow that up. You have him go to a wall. Oh, wait, wait. They're going to they, 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 they recover from the wall. Oh, wait. They get hit with a super on the way back. And they hit the wall anyways. Really, really bad stuff to see. And personally, not a great, great idea at all. <laughs> For the opponent, that is. So Holy's really good at this case. Fedra. Ugh. Fedra is good if you can get him in the air and freaking get the machine guns going. The main cannon is not going to win you matches, honestly. The main cannon doesn't win matches. And Tear. Tear. Osaki is a little, it's more used for the wall. Not really so much for the for, for the arena based super. It's more for a force field. It's really not that great of an of a way to work tier. And personally, it can be better utilized by others. So, eh, whatever. So, my recommendations, here we go. Love, no. Time, no. Nature, yes. On all levels. Osuchi, pro level only because of the tactics it can create. Thunder, yes. Intermediate and advanced and pro level, yes, you can. Beginners, practice before you work out that. Blossoms, yes, that is a go. Light, no. Evil, yes, intermediates and up. Wind, intermediates and up as well. Metal, pros only if you can get the charge going. If you can get the charge going, you don't need to work anything else. Sound pros only because of a lot of setting up options you need to understand. Water, no. Magnetism, yes on all levels. Darkness, no. Ice, recommended on all levels. If I say recommended, that means that's the one you should be using. Mirrors, pick and choose, but I'm saying intermediates and better. Fire, no. Punishment, no. Sin, pro level only. Luck, intermediates and better. Now maybe puts, maybe novices can work it too, but it does take some practice. Tier, no. Fenra, pro level jugglers only. And holy, eh, intermediates only. Now that I got that done, I'm currently working on Yuriko. We're just going to go, if you look at your character select screen, here's how I'm working this. Heart, Saki, Yuriko, Lilica, uh, I forgot her name off chance. Give me one second as I refer to my notes, and I should be able to help you out. Where the hell is she? Oh, Lizolette. Lizolette. 
Um, Zeta, Eco, then Weiss. And then we're going to go to the center where we'll get... Where the hell? Charlotte. Charlotte. Uh, we're going to call her Charles. Just to be quite honest. I can't pronounce the rest of her name. Clarice, Dorothy. Then we got Catherine, Fiona, Angela, Angela, and uh, Maori. Then we're going to go to the bottom where we have... Where is her? Damn, 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 damn. Sorry. It, it's really just... Oh, Kami. Yeah, Kamui. Then Konoha. Then Nazuna. Then Akane. Kira, Mayfang, Ilsa, and Petra. Finishing this off. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16... 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3. So we got 23 characters expected for 23 days. And that's all there is to it. I'm Raz. Hope you have a blessed day, blessed night, whenever you want to hear this. And have fun. Peace.